We have this God-given capacity to suppress a wound within ourselves so deeply that we can't even remember it. Why can't we remember it? Because we experienced a wound, sometimes repeatedly, like Sherry was talking about. Sometimes it was a way of life. It was, it was something that was wronging you over and over, hurting you over and over and over again. We experienced a wound resulting in trauma that was too much for your heart and your mind to handle. See, when we're little bitty kiddos, we don't have the emotional or spiritual strength to know how to handle some of the horrible things that are happening to us. So God gives us this gift. He lets us take that hurt and trauma and set it aside, take it out of our current memory, and put it over here where we don't have to live with it every day. And that way you can go on with your next day and your next day. The struggle with that, with repression, is that we're not meant to repress things our whole life. God waits until we're strong enough, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and He says, now let me have it. Now let me have it. You're strong enough now and you know me. It's going to be okay. Because hanging on to that stuff that you can't even remember, that repressed, those repressed wounds, they do impact your life. They change who you are.